Hi, everyone. So a uh, question came up about uh, tracking opens and the way it uh, is reported in Infusionsoft. And um, in this case, the question involved why isn't Infusionsoft even showing anything but bounces. But um, often the question comes up about email opens. And one, one alternative is to use uh, what's called a automation link image pixel in emails. And I think the question has come up a number of times as to whether or not um, you can do that in the new email builder or even especially in broadcast. So I'm going to show you how that's done. So first of all, let's go over making the link, creating the automation link. So um, if you go to your marketing settings and you'll get automation links, you click there, then you click on create a link and we will call this, um, I would call this something that maybe your email subject line or a name for the email that's unique and then maybe a dash and opened. In this case, um, we're gonna call we're gonna call it uh, just just uh, my email open um, email open. But I would use better naming convention than that. Uh, don't worry about these other fields and, and information. Uh, click save, and once you click save, and not until you do, this action tab won't come up until you click save. But now that it has, you can come here, and this is just a regular action set that's tied to this link. Now, I would create a tag that is identical to the name of the automation link because uh, that way you'll be able to identify each email's unique open being triggered and the tag will identify that. This gives you a metric for being able to manage things within campaigns. So when an open gets triggered, then the tag gets raised and then you can make something happen in a sequence to accomplish that. So I'm just going to, for brevity's sake, uh, pick the top one. I'm going to save that. I'm going to save it. And once that happens, I'm going to refresh the page here because it won't show up in the list for me unless I do. Um, so as soon as I refresh the page, I'll show you what you need to take note of. So before leaving this page, go and find your link. And then here's my email open. Now you'll notice that down in the lower left here, the URL, it will be a JavaScript uh, uh, link that will come up. But there will be a, a number. In this case, you'll see the number 20934. So 20934, you need to make note of that and before going on to your email. And I'll show you what and how to put it into your email. So now we go to emails. In this case, I'm going to use a broadcast, but the email builder is the same. Um, and the new email builder works the same way. So um, in both cases, just do the same thing. I'm going to create here. And now I'm, I, I'm not going to use an image widget. I'm going to use the code widget, and I'll show you. It's not complicated, but I'll get off of there. I will show you what to do here if it will cooperate. There we go. I usually put it at the top. So I copied and pasted just to make this clear. So I have here, and I'll go over this in a minute. I just did this to make it quicker. Okay. So why does it do that? <sighs> It's not tags, image, sometimes it doesn't like that. Oh, alt. So with and the quotes, it doesn't like the quotes. Okay. I copied something and it just has the wrong quote. So let me uh, just fix this real quick. And I will explain exactly what we have here. Just because it's real picky about email builder is real picky about the formatting of some things. That's all. So since I copied and pasted this particular thing, it is just being persnickety. So image source tilde gum. Okay, there we go. So what this is, this is an image tag, and I'll retype everything down here so, as it goes, so that way you can see. In fact, you, you don't even need this. I'm already sure of it. Okay, so I'm going to retype it here, uh, but I'm duplicating what's already above it so I can explain it. So we start out with an image tag, okay? And then every image tag always has an SRC attribute that stands for source, so SRC. And usually that's the link that leads to the image. So in the case of like this pine collection image here, that would be the URL that led to that. So in this case, we're going to put the automation link, which is a tilde. This is a merge code. This is an actual merge code. So capital L for link, 
and use a minus sign and dash. And here's where you put the number. So in my case, the link number was 20934. So 20934, and then another tilde. Okay, that is the link to your automation link that you created and the quotes. Now, what we're also going to do is if I were to try and do this now without putting in this width and this height, then you would get a little um, image icon that usually comes up in web pages when they didn't have the image URL to show the image with. It's like a placeholder, but you don't want that. So we want to make sure that it's only one pixel by one pixel. So we go width equals, and make sure you put the numbers in, in quotes, one and height equals and one. And then you put a forward slash and a greater than sign, and that finishes out that particular um, that particular tag. And as you can see, uh, that basically works well for this. So um, again, all this is in this part here is we're replacing it with a number as soon as it lets me. Doo -doo -doo. So we're replacing it with 20934, 20934, and that's it, okay? Now, if we do a preview, you'll see that you can't see the image, okay? The image is hidden. However, what happens is when somebody opens an email, this image is reached out, this link is reached out for it, this merge code, what happens is when it's sent, the merge code is converted to the link for the action set, and the action set raises the tag when it's open. So when that link is triggered, it opens the, it opens the action set. The action set raises the tag, and you know that, that you have a report it open. And I think you'll find that they, what this reports is open, if you do a search later on on how many contacts have the tag that you set up for an open, email open, uh, enabled, uh, you do a search for that number, and you compare it to the number of opens reported by Infusionsoft, my bet is you're going to find about a 20% variance. I'm just saying. So um, this is just another way to do a comparative analysis. It gives you a way to actually measure differently and based on, on a link being activated. And um, it also gives you tags to identify and silo that information for reporting. So I hope it helps to see that. And um, you know, give it a try and let me know how things work out for you. Thanks.